way too special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure delicious. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family loves me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pam, man. I appreciate the love. Mm, appreciate the support. 33, man. 33 years of prison stores, man. We out here. We rolling. We rolling. We rolling. Oh, man. Man, I have been debating and debating about telling um this story or these types of stories, you know, because of, you know, my own personal reasons. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to really promote, you know what I'm saying, myself or promote, um, you know, violence and stuff like that, but throughout, you know, my YouTube stuff, you know, I've been um, explaining to y'all the things that can happen and, you know, purposely not telling y'all some of the things that I went through, like, physically, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I'm promoting positivity. We, we, we pushing P over here. We pushing positivity. But when you in a world like I came out of, the only way that I could come up out of it was at times I had to be, you know, vicious and brutal, you know, because this is what you want to get, you know, so you're going to have to give it before you get it or even give it greater than you receive it. So it's been moments, man. It's been some, it's been some, um, you know, I've told you all about, you know, the big Raymond, you know, situation and, um, you know, uh, even the Earl situation, little different situations that occurred with me, you know, but um, in the course of 33 years, man, it's been some, it's been some um, crazy, crazy incidents, man, that, um, that I've been involved in. And I thank God that I came up out of them incidents because a lot of them, you know, um, could have went either way. You know what I'm saying? It could have went either way because of where you at and the environment that you in and by me first coming in and me getting to learn, you know, prison and learn the way people move and, you know, it's trial and error. It ain't like nobody sitting there giving you no playbook and telling you boom, 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 boom. Now you got to figure it out by yourself. And a lot of times when you figure it out by yourself, well, all the time, it's really, it's really like no mistakes allowed. You know what I'm saying? There's no mistakes allowed because the mistakes that you did that, 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 that happens, it can cost you, you know what I'm saying, your life. And no matter how long you're in prison, man, you 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 never going to stop, um, you know, learning prison. You never going to stop, you know, you don't have to adapt to all the changing ways, all the different changing institutions, um, how they current it on this institution, how versus how they current it on that institution. What may fly on this institution may not fly on the other institution. The caliber of dudes on this institution may not be the caliber of dudes on this institution. So you got to adapt to your environment when you get in those different situations. And, you know, that takes them getting used to, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of dudes, they move through prison and they they, they start at one prison and then that, that's how they think prison is, or the way they start. But they learn as they go to other prisons and they bring on, bring on them same philosophies, them same attributes, them same characteristics, and, and try some of that stuff and say some of that stuff and act some of them ways they was acting over here. It's going to get you super late over here. You know what I'm saying? And it may get you late where you, you, you can't recover. You know what I'm saying? Dudes out of man. <laughs> man, dudes and got, you know, philosophy bags and lost eyes, man. They done got, you know, scars on their face. Then got puncture wounds all over their body. And um, it's all because of lack of knowledge and lack of preparation. They're not prepared, you know what I'm saying? Because they have been, you know, uh, uh, brainwashed to believe this is the only way prison run. Man, prison is run. It's certain basic level rules, but every institution is different. The, the, the dudes on the institution is different. 
what's going on over here may not be going on over there. So you have to learn that stuff and you have to go to a new institution and you have to watch, look, pay attention and see what's going on so you can adapt to the situation. Okay. Now, what I mean by two, no matter how long you be in prison, you still learning. Because by this time, this incident that I'm getting ready to share with y'all is like, I had already been in prison for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Because we talking, you know, we do the math, whatever it is, we talking way up into like uh, 2012, uh, maybe 2012, 2011, somewhere up in that range, it's, it's up in there, you know what I'm saying? I went on, I went on Wallace Ridge in 2009, I think I left in 2000. Um, I think I 19, 11, 12, 13, I think I left in 2013 or the end of 2012, something like that. So this this occurred, um, so this had to occur probably like 10 or 11. But as I had told y'all before in previous videos, when I had the altercation with my celly, you know, the worst celly I ever had, uh, you know, a uh, straight sucker, you know, um, and he, you know, pulled pulled a race card on me and the people, you know, I, I I was really shook up then because I didn't know what the people was gonna do to me, you know, when they was taking me to the hole, talking all the crazy stuff they was talking, you know, you don't like the white man or and you know, they was like ultra racist up there. So I'm handcuffed up, they done beat people up there, they done kill people with the handcuffs on I'm talking about yeah, they done, yeah, they done took lives up there and got away with it. So at this point in time, on my way to segregation, I'm not really, you know what I'm saying, knowing what, you know what I'm saying, my fate going to be because, like I say, I'm already bound and chained so they could do basically what they want to do with me. So all the trash and stuff they talking, I just kept my mouth closed and let them just kept running their mouth and took me on to where they had to take me. You know, you know, by the grace of God, they ain't try to, you know, whoop me or do nothing like that. But by me being back there for the incident, on, on, on Wallace Ridge at this time, when you go to hold, especially like for certain charges, when you come out, you don't go right back to population when you finish your time. You got to go through a phase program, right? And in this phase program, what they had was a half a block. It's not like, it's, 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 it's the same as the big regular pods, but it's a half a pod. It only has one side, one row or tier, and then another row or tier. So what happens is, you got to go into this phase program, you know, if you had a serious charge, you got to go in the phase program and phase your way back out the population. Now, when you're in the phase program, when you go in there, it's just like segregation. So you come out of SEG and you're going right back into another SEG. But this SEG, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the SEG and you got to take all of these classes and courses or whatnot. But you go into this half a block and you're on the bottom tier first where you don't get nothing but uh, your commissary. They'll bring your commissary if you got commissary in your property, and then I think you could order commissary back there because they ain't gonna stop getting that money. So that's the only difference between being in the hole is that you can get commissary. But other than that, you're still in the hole. You're in a cell by yourself. You cannot get your TV. You cannot get no electrical appliances. You can't get none of that. So you have to finish a certain amount of classes before you are moved up to the top tier. Now, when you finish these classes and they move you to the top tier, you going in the cell with somebody else and you can get your TV, right? So, hmm, I finished the program on the bottom. So, I'm scheduled to be moved up top and get my, you know, my TV or whatnot. I had an issue when I was on the bottom because... You know, they had a whole lot of flim flammery going on in there. You know, they had gangs in there. They had the police, you know, wrapped up in there, you know, fingers. But I ain't know that at the time. But it was a lot of stuff going on. So when I got my commissary, a lot of stuff was missing, you know. And I'm thinking in my mind that all this foolishness they do back there, they done took my commissary and gave it to some of the dudes. That they, they was doing this type of stuff up there. But I didn't know all that at sure. At, for sure at that time, had I known it, I would have, Definitely felt like they took stuff out of my commissary and gave it to them dudes. But anyway, I couldn't prove it. I just rolled with the punches. I really want to get from back there. I want to get back on population. I want to get up off this institution because it's just, it's just, it's, it's just crazy up here. The craziest place I've been. So I, I, my mind is locked in. I got to get up off of here. So they got Philly inmates up there. 
I mean, you know, they did this little swap thing that they was doing where they had different uh, prisoners from different institutions up there on um, Philly. Um, um, there's another, I know they had, uh, you know, Yard Man, they had the Virgin Islands, they had Philly, and they had, um, it's another one that they had. I can't remember which one it was off the top of my mind. It was one of them Midwest Jones, but they had them up there. But the side that I was in, in this phase program, they had a lot of Philly dudes in there, you know, because the Philly dudes was bucking. They ain't want to, you know what I'm saying? They was bucking and they was out there when they was in population. They, they reckon they getting into it with dudes. So they, a lot of them was getting locked up. So there's a lot of Philly dudes back there. So when they moved me up to the top, they put me in the cell with a, a Philly dude, right? Now the Philly dude's been locked up uh, at the time about as much long as me. But he was a little older than me, maybe about two, three years older than me. I could tell energy by now. I've been locked up so long, I could tell energy when I walk in the cell. I could tell, you know, you know, this might this might be a little problem up in here because of the way he, you know, his energy was. Before he even said anything, I could tell that. So when I go up there, they telling me that I'm going up here to sell such and such, and I'm on I'm on the bottom bunk, right? So when I go in there, he already got his stuff on the bottom bunk. He got his stuff on the desk, whatever. He got his stuff on the bottom bunk. Now, this is the problem. I, I, I usually don't even trip about that type of stuff when I first come to somebody's cell. I usually don't trip off of that. But this is the problem. On, on Wallace Ridge, they're going to give you a charge for not being on the bunk that you're supposed to be on. So, I ain't trying to get no charge. I'm trying to be, I just got into this. Now I'm tricked up, you know, telling how much long I got to stay up here, which end up being two more years for that foolishness. But I ain't trying to get tricked up. I ain't trying to get no no bogus charges, nothing. Because every time you get a charge up there, that's the way they got the system ran. So it's just basically meant to keep you up there. You know what I'm saying? To keep you to feel these beds that they done sold these people this foolishness for. They need these supermax prisons for. And when you ain't got enough criteria to fit the prisons, this is why you bringing other inmates from other states in. But anyway, so I want the bunk because that's where I'm supposed to be. And I ain't trying to get no charge. So the dude come to the door, the police, when he take me in there, he tell him, um, yo, you gotta get your stuff up off the bunk, man, top bunk, man, man on the bottom bunk. So he grinning and looking all, you know, like he hard and everything. And he had a little size to him, but he, like I say, he was, he was, he, he, he wanted in good shape as me for sure. You know what I'm saying? I could look at him and Boom, automatic, I size dudes up. I, guy, I got to size you up. I'm getting ready to come in your, in your domain. You know what I'm saying? So I'm already peeping them a woo, woo, woo. So when I get at the joint, and the man telling him, so he just looking at me, and he said, man, you heard what I said? This is what the police telling him. He said, yeah, man, I heard you. So he said, yeah, all right. So he gets, you know, go ahead, put my stuff in there. He closed the door, he roll out. So I'm just... Taking my stuff, I sit on the toilet, I'm unpacking my stuff, getting my stuff right. Woo, woo, woo. He don't say nothing, I ain't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm waiting to see if he'll move his, his stuff right. But <laughs> he don't make no effort like he trying to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Now, I just get up in here. Um, I ain't got time to be sitting around waiting for you. I'm trying to get, you know, get to the getting. You know what I'm saying? Get, get my stuff straight, get my little bed made up. You know, sit back, try to get my mind right, wait for these people to bring my TV, my property, whatever. So, as I'm going through my stuff and everything, he still ain't saying nothing, ain't saying nothing. So, he's sitting there, and he done sit on the bunk. <laughs> he done sit on the bunk and start watching TV, right? So, I don't say nothing. I'm being patient, you know, checking out the situation, filling it out. So, then as I'm going through my stuff and messing with my stuff, I said, yo, man, what's up? He said, what's up? So I just look at him, I said, man, what's up? I'm trying to, you know, get my stuff together. I'm trying to get on the bunk, whatever, man. I'm trying to get on out your way, bro. He said, uh, yeah, man, but, uh, man, I ain't trying to be climbing up there on top, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really trying to be doing that, right? I done been in here already by myself, man, for about four weeks. I ain't trying to be climbing up there. So I just look at him, right? I said, yeah. I said, well, why you ain't telling people that? He said, I ain't, I, I ain't had to tell him. I ain't had to tell him. I'm saying, I was in here. I mean, you a convict, ain't you? You a convict. I said, look, look, look. Hold up, bro. What I am is unquestionable. What I'm telling you is, 
he said, man, you won't tell me. I said, man, look, 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 look. I'm telling you, the people say it's supposed to be on the bottom. Now, I'm going to get on the bottom because I ain't trying to be dealing with these folks. You understand me? I said, I ain't coming in here trying to push nothing at you or none of that. But I'm going to get on the bottom because that's where I'm supposed to be. I'm trying to get from up there. He said, yo, yeah, well, I'm from Philly. I'm trying to get from out here anyway. I'm trying to get out the state. That's why I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Period. I want the bunk because I'm supposed to be on the bunk. I'm not trying to deal with these people. So what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? He told me some, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I said, yeah, okay. So I sat down and keep doing what I'm doing. Off the rip now, I already know. I don't, I don't fool with you, Joker. I don't fool with you. You already on the bad side. But I'm trying to mind my P's and Q's because of the simple fact that I know what I, I know where I'm at and I know what I'm up against. But him, I done looked at him. I, he don't, you don't want what you think you want. I know you don't. You just don't know you don't. But this, this trust me, this ain't what you want. Yeah, this this most definitely not what you want. So I just go ahead and start, you know, getting them stuff, unpacking them stuff, putting them stuff, checking, making sure I got this in there versus what I remember in my mind or what I had in my property, right? This bell sit there for about, about maybe 10 more minutes. He get up, and when he get up, he, you know, all that heavy breathing and all this foolishness and start grabbing his stuff, and, you know, he... Basically mumbling, oh, I can't even hear him, but he mumbling, all this stupid stuff, grabbing his stuff and, you know, moving it to the top and, you know what I'm saying, boom, slide his little TV back, doing all this, doing all that. By now, I done finished doing my jump, but I'm just watching his body language and all of this. I'm like, man, yeah, this ain't going to work. <laughs> I already know this, this, this just ain't going to work. You know, so he steady doing his old stuff so when he get everything up there and get everything positioned i'm out his way i'm still over here I'm, I'm out his way when he get everything positioned the way he want to get it positioned right then he turned around and said yeah there go your bunk man you know yeah go ahead and get it right i just stand up and when i stand up i'm looking at him and he looking at me so i i said look bro you got you you got a problem you know what I'm saying? So he said, well, you got a problem? I said, yeah, I got one if you got one, man. I got one if you got one. You know what I'm saying? I said, I ain't, I ain't coming here for all that foolishness. You know, you, you got a problem with them people, you deal with them people. You go where they tell you to go, and I go where they tell me to go. That's where they told me to go. I don't want no problems out you, bro, but I'm telling you right now, I ain't running from nothing, and I ain't ducking nothing. He told me, me neither. I'm from Philly. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why y'all carry down here. I'm for Philly. I said, man, man, I don't care where you from, dog. Straight up. I don't care where you from. You did? I said, you ain't going to do nothing in this cell that I'm going to feel threatened and it's going to be anything that you're going to be able to get away with. I'm letting you know that right now. He told me, what, what you saying? I said, man, what's up? What's, what, what's happening, man? What you want to do? I'm not going to keep on saying here jawboning with you. Period. I'm not going to keep jawboning with you, man. I came in the cell and say nothing to you, Jack. Nothing. I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to do and get out of here. Now, if you want to get in my way, let me know now because we can get it over with. We can get it over with. So he looking at me right here telling me something. I said, man, all that don't do nothing for me. It don't do nothing for me, bro. Nothing. I said, I'm just telling you. I'm coming in here in peace. That's how I'm trying to leave. Excuse me. Let me make this bed up. You know what I'm saying? So he just looking, he huff, he puff, he walk on around me. I turn around, watch me go over there, looking all out the door, you know, making all these old funny body movements. And oh, I'm like, man, psh, this is what prison is. It'll put you in these positions that you don't even want to be in. I ain't coming in. I'm like, my whole frame of mind is get up off of Wallace Fish. I just now push myself back from making that happen. Now I'm, 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 I'm trying to get up out here. Do what I'm supposed to do. And they ain't going to put me in the cell with this fool. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man. Boom. Go on. Start making my bunk up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, normally, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, and you know, and like I say, it's just, it's just, I would have, I would have went ahead on and crushed. You know what I'm saying? But the, but, but the pressure that I was under, this the overall bigger picture, by this point, in my bit, I can I can see the bigger pitch. I know I know the game they playing. I know I'm stuck. I know they their intentions is to keep you stuck up here because they got to fill these beds. So I know that. And 
I'm looking at him, and in my mind, I didn't, I didn't surmise that he more, he more, you know what I'm saying, bark than bite. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at him. I know he from a different state, and mind you, go back to what I said. Different prisons have different rules, different people. See, he from another state. He, he, they do things different. I don't think they move different. They think different. Their system may be different. You see what I'm saying? So, at the time in my mind, while I'm calculating all of this, and I'm thinking that he ain't really about that life, he ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because he can look at me and see, you know what I'm saying? At this time, too, I'm, 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 I'm in physical good shape, and he, it ain't nothing to do up there but work out. So, I'm like, man, he, he don't want this. You know what I'm saying? So, I get my bed and everything made all up, boom, boom, boom. He he finished at the door. He come on back, clam up on the bunk. He on the bunk. He got his TV on, watching his little TV. I'm waiting for the people. I'm asking them about my TV. They tell me they're going to get it when they get it. And, you know, property might not be in. You might not get it to them. All this foolishness. So I'm mad. I'm irritated. I'm frustrated. So what do I do? I go get on my bunk. I lay on back. You know, I ain't got no appliances or nothing like that. Heard his TV, he ain't using no headphones or nothing. So I lay on back, man, and I'm just thinking about, you know, what people do in prison a lot, a whole lot, man, man. How I get myself in this foolishness right here, man. You know, and that's that's what it comes down to. That's what a lot of cats do for a lot of times of their bit is wonder, how did I end up right here in this situation, in this moment with this craziness? And it, 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 that just becomes a recurring theme in your life when you're doing time. Is you gonna always feel like that because you gonna go from one situation to a worse situation to a worse situation to another situation to it just don't stop, man. It ain't no end to it. So as I'm doing that and I'm trying to relax and you know what I'm saying, I get myself together, whatever, man. And um, they come around, man. They do the little count and everything. They finish the little count. They roll out. You know what I'm saying? Don't look like I'm going to get my property. Don't look like I'm going to get nothing. So I have my back on the bunk. I'm laying down, man. And, man, I, I I roll over. And I'm laying on the bunk like this. And I'm just, you know what I'm saying, really resting. And um, he ain't said nothing to me, so I ain't said nothing else to him. So I'm figuring that we done got some type of understanding or whatever. Or he know that I ain't, you know, to be trifled with. Or he ain't going to just try that little fake bullet. Oh, I'm for, I don't care where you from. So, as I'm laying down, I'm, I, I done dozed off because I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm dozing in and out of sleep, but I'm conscious I'm in and out of sleep. But the only reason I did that because I really didn't feel he was a threat. But if I use my normal penitentiary, you know, uh, instincts, man, is you came in here and this dude ain't really rocking with you and y'all ain't really, you know, I wouldn't, I, I shouldn't have never even laid down. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have, but like I said, normally I should have crushed them off the top, but I'm trying to, and this is where you get in trouble in prison at. When you go against the grain, man, when you go against what you know you always do, when you know what's right, what you know that instinct and that thing in your gut telling you to do, deal with this cat and get it over with. And, 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 and the, let the trouble fall away it may. Just deal with him and get it over with. That's exactly what I should have did. Because I lay down. And I, like I said, I must have been dozing in and out. I remember going in and out. And, um, man, the next thing you know, boom, I feel a sharp pain in my shoulder. So, you know, and then when you're in sleep, you don't know if you're dreaming because you're in prison. You have a lot of crazy dreams. Like somebody might be hitting you or stabbing, and you had them dreams. So you don't know if you're dreaming. But it's like I feel the sharp pain. So I roll over, and I look up, and... <laughs> This joker got his coat on, and he stood up, and he fully, you know, dressed in his little joint, and he bag up, and he said, yeah, I told you, man, I'm from Philly, I don't play no game. And he got something in his hand, and I know because I feel a sharp pain in my shoulder, right? So I jump up, I'm up off the rip now, I ain't got no shoes on or nothing, but I'm up off the rip, and I'm like, oh, I said, what's up? What's up? So he got his hand cuffed where I can't really see exactly what it is in his hand, but he got something, you know what I'm saying? And I feel... <laughs> I feel this pain in my shoulder now. I'm thinking that he, he didn't put this, he didn't put the Bethlehem in me. You know what I'm saying? So my adrenaline is like, I mean, it's like going, going. So I'm, I'm, I'm he, he, back, his back is to the, to, the, to the door, and I'm about to bump. So I'm, I'm coming at him. I'm like, boom! I'm trying to see if he know anything. So I just dive up in there, and he, you know, got some type of any type of skills. He, he, you put that in your hand, and you, you know, you got to be prepared. You can't rush into you mess around, get hit in the face, hit in the eye, or something like that. That's the ball game. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what's up? What's up? I said, yeah, you a coward. You know what I'm saying? You a coward. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you are. You try to get me when I'm asleep. You a coward. You know what I'm saying? So he's standing there. He, every time I flinch, he flinching like he, like he, whatever he got in his hand, I can't see it. And he flinching like he going to use it. So I'm like, come on. You want to run? You want to run? You want to sneak me? Come on with it. So he's telling me something. Yeah, yeah. I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do. I said, you ain't do nothing. You a coward. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm just, I'm getting furious with him. So I flinch at him again. I flinch at him again. But then I'm trying to really just peep his body language and his body move. Man, when I flinch at him again and I see, I say, I can get him. I know I can get him. And I flinch at him again. He keep on saying, come on, come on. So, man, I try to catch him when he was talking because I know his brain is locked in. on running his mouth and trying to keep me up off him. And I'm saying to myself, by this time now, he, he ain't, he ain't, whatever he got, he ain't he ain't used to using it or he's scared because he, he, you supposed to attack straight up. If you done already did what you did to me, you don't you don't try to hit me when I'm asleep. So you supposed to attack. What else you gonna do? You gonna stand there and wait for the police to come? You see him up, you see him coming at you, you supposed to attack. So that let me know in my mind right there, he faking. He ain't built like he say he built. So when I flinch at him again, he say something, as soon as he says something, I, I just launch into him. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you special. Yeah, pure deliciousness. Pure deliciousness, man. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family love me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. 